unusual consequences of the Russia-Ukraine conflict for civilians inside Russia. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has been a subject of much debate and analysis in recent years. While much attention has been paid to the political and military implications of this conflict, little is known about the unusual and unexpected consequences it has had on the civilian populations, particularly those living in Russia. Today, we will reveal how the conflict has impacted the daily lives of ordinary Russians in ways that you would never have imagined. Consequence number one, the Russia versus Ukraine conflict has had an impact on Russian society. The conflict has led to a sense of isolation and mistrust towards Western countries among some Russians who see the conflict as a struggle against foreign aggression. As a result, many Russians have turned to state-controlled media for their news, rather than seeking out alternative sources of information. This has led to a rise in disinformation and propaganda, with state-controlled media outlets portraying the conflict in Ukraine as a patriotic struggle against Western imperialism. This reliance on state-controlled media has made it difficult for Russians to have a nuanced understanding of the conflict. According to recent surveys, approximately 60% of Russian citizens hold the United States responsible for the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The Russian government has used the conflict in Ukraine to promote a nationalist agenda to portray itself as a defender of Russian interests against foreign aggression. This has led to a rise in authoritarianism and a decline in democratic values in Russia. The government has cracked down on dissenting voices and opposition groups, accusing them of being traitors or foreign agents. The reliance on state-controlled media has also led to a rise in conspiracy theories and disinformation. Many Russians believe that the conflict in Ukraine is part of a broader Western plot to destabilize Russia and to weaken its global influence. This has further fueled mistrust toward the West and made it difficult for Russians to engage in meaningful dialogue with Western countries. Consequence number two, Russia has witnessed a significant outflow of highly skilled workers and professionals, with hundreds of thousands leaving the country. The Russian economy has suffered significant damage since the invasion of Ukraine. Despite Putin's leadership, the country had managed to reverse the demographic catastrophe of the late Soviet period and 1990s with population growth stabilizing by 2018. However, the invasion has exacerbated the Putin exodus of educated young professionals that began in 2015, with an estimated of 25,000 Russians having already migrated to Georgia by mid-March, and many others seeking refuge in countries such as Turkey and Armenia due to the closure of Russian flights to Europe and North America. It has been estimated that up to 200,000 Russians fled the country in the first four weeks of the war. With the ongoing war in Ukraine and increasing political oppression within the country, many are searching for ways to escape. The number of Google searches by Russians on the topic of emigration increased fourfold between mid-February and early March. Searches for information on travel visas nearly doubled while those for a Russian equivalent of political asylum increased more than five-fold. Poland and Germany have provided refuge to millions of Ukrainian refugees. In the wake of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February, tens of thousands of Russians have fled their homes seeking visa-free entry to nearby countries. By early March 2022, an estimated 200,000 Russians had already left, with Georgia alone receiving 30,000. This mass exodus of Russians further compounds an ongoing trend that has been growing for years. This brain drain is further threatening an economy already targeted by Western sanctions. In addition, the political situation has led to the exodus of some of the most intelligent Russians. The majority of those who have left since the turn of the century were highly educated individuals between the ages of 25 and 45. A survey conducted by the Atlantic Council revealed that 36% of respondents had either a master's degree or a doctorate. Furthermore, laws enacted by Putin's administration that limit scientists' ability to collaborate with international partners and engage in public outreach have only served to hasten their departure. During a recent speech, Putin labeled Russians who do not support him as traitors and viewed their departure as a required self-purification of society. Any people, and even more so the Russian people, will always be able to distinguish true patriots from scum and traitors, the Russian president said. Egor Koruptev, the director of the Free Russia Foundation in Georgia, has pointed out that the departure of activists, human rights defenders, and political leaders is a significant and conspicuous trend in Russia. Tech workers, scientists, bankers, and doctors are among the professionals leaving Russia in significant numbers, indicating that countries such as Georgia, Armenia, and Turkey are popular destinations for these skilled workers. This trend is expected to continue into the future. Consequence number three. 
The Russian-Ukrainian war has led to a rise in xenophobia and hostility toward ethnic minorities in Russia. This has been driven by the state propaganda, which has portrayed the war as a struggle against Western aggression and Ukraine as a hostile enemy. This narrative has led to the stigmatization and demonization of ethnic minorities in Russia, particularly those who have ties to Ukraine. One of the most affected groups have been ethnic Ukrainians living in Russia. Many of them have been subject to harassment, discrimination, and even physical attacks by Russian nationalists. The government has also cracked down on Ukrainian cultural organizations, accusing them of promoting anti-Russian sentiments. Another affected group has been the Crimean Tatars. Following Russia's annexation of Crimea, the Tatars, who make up around 12% of the peninsula's population, have faced persecution and discrimination. Many have been arrested, tortured, or disappeared, and their cultural institutions have been shut down by the Russian authorities. The racial barriers that exist in Ukraine are not limited to local communities and extend to black students and athletes. Morris Creek, a professional basketball player from Maryland who played college basketball for Indiana University and George Washington University, found himself trapped in a bomb shelter in Mykolaiv, Ukraine during the conflict. He had to travel to Romania to secure a flight back to the United States. Similarly, Corinne Sky, a medical student from Zimbabwe studying in Great Britain, described leaving Ukraine as a Squid Games-like experience. The individuals of European and Ukrainian descent occupy the top of the hierarchy. People from India and the Middle East fall in the middle, and individuals of African descent are at the bottom. The rise in xenophobia and hostility toward ethnic minorities has also affected refugees and asylum seekers in Russia. Many refugees from Ukraine have faced difficulties obtaining asylum in Russia, and some have been subjected to detention, deportation, or even extrajudicial killings. The Russian government has also used the war as an excuse to crack down on migrants and foreigners, accusing them of being spies or provocateurs. The war has had a profound impact on Russian society, with many citizens feeling a sense of mistrust toward the West and foreign influence. This has led to a rise in nationalist and isolationist sentiments, with some Russians advocating for a purity of the Russian nation and culture. The government has used this sentiment to justify its crackdown on ethnic minorities and dissenting voices. So, what do you think? Have you been affected by the Russia-Ukraine conflict in any unusual ways? Let us know in the comments below and share your thoughts with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content like this. We'll be bringing you new and exciting videos every week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with our content.